The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on Pena fam, how's it going? I've been missing you guys for the past couple days. Sorry, I've been in that training that we talked about in a couple videos ago. I forgot which video specifically, but I have been in a training for the last two days, Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to about 9 p.m. So that's where I've been. I'm sorry that I've been a little out of the loop. Amanda hasn't been feeling well, so that's why she hasn't been vlogging. I know she posted on her Instagram that she's been feeling a lot more nauseous and a lot more tired, so I tried to tell her to get as much rest as she could, but she's been with Ava all weekend. I know that's a full-time job in itself, so thank you so much, babe, for watching. Ava, you're upstairs taking a shower, and I'm about to go to work. We got some great things in store for you guys today, so just keep on watching. I'm gonna head to work, and in a couple hours, I'm gonna stop by our PO box and see what you guys have sent us so far. And then later in the afternoon, we have a little surprise for you guys. So I know you guys will enjoy that as well. Give this video a thumbs up, and let's get this day started. This is what happens. When I get in the car after Amanda drives, my head basically touches the ceiling and my knees have no space. All right guys, I just pulled up to work and I thought of the greatest idea on the way over here. I don't know how well I'm gonna execute it. I gotta plan it a little bit more. I thought it would be a good idea to just call Amanda and be like, and just kind of sound a little nervous, kind of sound a little sad and uh, tell her that I got a ticket because I was driving and vlogging or driving and texting or speeding, one of those three. I'm curious to see what her reaction would be. I think it would be pretty funny. So I'm gonna try and uh, plan this out while I'm uh, working over here. I'm gonna head inside and and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. And I'm gonna go ahead and call Amanda right now and just let her know that I'm leaving to the post office. So let's go ahead and call her, see what she says. Hello. Hey, baby. Hey. What are you doing? I'm just laying down. Just laying down, you okay? You feeling okay? I'm just nauseous. Nauseous. Sorry, mom. Um, Okay. But all right, I'm I'm about about to leave the office right now and head to the post office and then I'll be home. Okay. Let me know if there's anything. Let me know if there's anything oh, at the PO box? Yeah. Okay, I will. Okay, love you, be safe. Alright, love you. Bye. Nice. Okay, so this is perfect. Now she knows that I'm on the way to the post office, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the post office, really, and I'm going to do the speed limit. Hopefully it plays out good. All right, guys, I just pulled up at the post office. Let's go check this P.O. box. We got a couple letters. It's only been a couple days, which is great. I'm so excited that you guys started sending stuff already. I know Amanda's gonna be excited. So if you guys don't know, if you guys are having issues sending us mail or something, this came through. So this is exactly what you should put on your box. Penny Family Vlogs, PO Box 164, uh, 1842 Mentone Boulevard, Mentone, California, 92359. I'm sure we've already covered that, but I'm gonna say it again. So I'm gonna drive down the street and I am going to call Amanda and see how this speeding ticket goes. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off. I really hope we can. I don't wanna upset her too much because obviously she's pregnant, but I want to, you know, make some things interesting. I want to get into like a little prank war, I guess you could say. But I don't want it to get too serious, honestly, because I don't want to get my feelings hurt. And I know she's really smart and she's good at these kind of things. So let me see. Let's call her. I'm really nervous, by the way. Even though it's fake, I'm so nervous to tell her. Okay, let's call her. Hello? She was just calling you, calling you, calling you. Really? That's Hello? crazy. Yeah, she was like, because she just woke up. Hey, she just woke up, so she was like, can you FaceTime? Ava, um. Can you FaceTime? 
Yeah. All right, one sec. She wants to FaceTime me, no! It's gonna ruin it. I don't even have a paper. Figured out. Hi, Ava. Who's that? Hi, Ava. Who's that? Hey, Mom. Hi, Dada. Did we get anything? I don't know. I just, uh, I just got pulled over. By a cop? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I was speeding. Where? Down green spot. Did you get a ticket? Yeah. Are you pranking me? No. Look. Uh oh. $375 for 12 miles over the speed limit. It's okay. What happens? Um, Are you shook up? Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. Well, you know, I don't like cops anyway, but... I was more nervous to tell you. Okay. Because I thought you were going to get mad at me. No, it it happens. Okay, well, um, let me go in the let me go to the post office real quick, grab the letters, and then I'll be home. Okay, I love you. I love you, dude. That's not even a good reaction. What kind is what? What is this, man? This is weak. Oh, I think she's calling me. Hello. Hey. Hey, mom. I'm right outside. I'll be right there. Okay. I love you, bye. Love you too. Oh, she doesn't get pissed off. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I'm trying to get your reaction. Look at what we got in the mail. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. I'm in a row, but Ava's pooping, so. Let me change and then. Uh, Pooping's tiring, huh, Mama? She went, she didn't even go in her diaper at all. She literally started grunting, and I was like, you gotta go poo poo. So we came here, and she's dropped like three turns. I love it. Babe, why aren't you pissed at me? What you mean? Hold it. I have no idea what you meant. Why are you pissed at you? Because that's $375 that we don't need to spend. Well, it's not like you chose to get it. Well, obviously I didn't choose to get it, but... So if you can't control it, why would I be mad at something we can't control? I don't know. Are you serious, Ava? What? <laughs> she what? There's a turd on the floor. That's Ava's turd. When I guess when I was getting more wipes, she went more. <laughs> what are you wearing, child? <laughs> she literally pooped on the floor. Did you poop on my floor? Okay, I think because she went poop and then I went to go get more wipes and then she obviously went more. Did you tell the vlog? What? That you got pulled over? No. Oh. Okay, Penny Pam, don't mind me. I'm in a robe. Oh, you can't put that in there. Just read it. Are you gonna put that in there? No, Just you read it. What? It's fake. Your reaction was terrible. Wait, you seriously were pranking me? Yeah. Babe! Is that why you got mad that I didn't get mad? I'm not getting mad that you didn't get mad. I thought you were just gonna get mad at me and I thought it was gonna be a better reaction. <laughs> That's just mail. So you were really pranking me? Yeah. And you knew it. Well, I didn't think so because you looked freaking pale and you were like, babe. Like, you looked believable. I'm a good actor. What can I say? You looked like scared. What can I say? I'm a good actor. Oh, cool. <laughs> Great reaction. Oh, cool. Well, there's $375 we could save. They know. They knew about it. That's why I was, I was trying like, to plan I, was like something. I thought you weren't going to tell them what happened. That's That was the idea. So that you didn't know that I was pranking you. Did you record my reaction FaceTiming me? Yeah. <gasps> I didn't have you like your picture on there, but it you can hear it. You little. Because I didn't want to look at the camera or have the camera on you, because then you would have automatically known. Oh, but you seriously looked believable. I totally believed you. What can I say? But I didn't get mad because it's like that stuff happened. Even right. though I've never been pulled over.
Knock on wood. I'm so excited. And here's the first one for Mallory. Wow, you guys have really pretty writing, by the way. June 6, 2018. Dear Pena fam, hi, my name is Mallory. I am from Louisiana. I am 11 years old. I just want to say congrats on baby number two. I love you guys so much. Also, congrats on the P.O. Box. P.S. I hope you guys read this on camera. I love you, Amanda, Chris, Ava, and baby number two. Congratulations, XOXO. Mallory. Oh, thank you so much, Mallory. That is so sweet. And wow. you, I don't know if this is like sparkly paper or what, but this is, this is like really pretty paper. I don't know why it's like sparkly, but thank awesome. you so much. You are so sweet. We love you so much. And now we have the other one by Matt. It's from Madison. And uh, this one has a little note on the inside and it says, that vlog life though. That vlog life though. Dear Pena family, I'm writing this letter while watching We Got a P.O. Box vlog. <laughs> as soon as this video started, I jumped up and started writing this. Oh. I love you guys so much. Your family is so beautiful. One day I wish to have a family like yours. My name is Madison H. Watching your vlogs makes me so happy. I have an Instagram fan account for you, at Pena Vlogs. Aww, that's Go follow me. at Pena Vlogs. <laughs> Last night I wrote you guys a long paragraph. I didn't think you were going to see it, but you did. You replied while I, while I was still asleep. Watching the vlog right now, I love your shoes. In parentheses. <laughs> Always, thank you, thank you. When I was checking my phone this morning and saw that you replied, I screamed. I started jumping up and down. My brother came into my room to see if I was okay. I was and I still am so happy. I wish I could meet you guys. That is my dream. Ava is so precious. Your vlogs are the best. Aww. Congrats on baby number two. If you have a boy, it should be Ethan. I love that name. It goes I with love that anyways. Name. All right, it goes with the Pena fam, Ethan Pena. I used to, honestly guys, I used to love the name Ethan. Like, that was one of my top five baby names for boys. I like it. Come here, baby. She's trying to get his keys. Okay, everybody go follow Pena Vlogs on Instagram and Maddie underscore 2914. It's like this. Go follow these two right here. There it is, Maddie. Woo! I hit that follow button. So thank you guys so much for sending these letters. We are gonna go back soon and check for more. So if you guys wanna send us anything, make sure you send us to the address in the description box. And I just wanna say I'm so sorry that we haven't posted in the last two days. I've been feeling really sick. Clearly you can see that I'm not feeling the best, but I'm gonna try to get the energy to get ready right now because we have... A surprise. A surprise. I a told them earlier surprise. that you have a, we have a surprise. So this surprise is at 1.30, so we're gonna go get ready. I'm gonna try to get ready as best as I can, and we will meet you guys there. Okay guys, I did it. I got ready. It took 10 times longer than usual, but I did it. Comment down below if you're proud of me, because it's hard getting ready when you're pregnant and you feel like poop. Uh, excuse me, are you gonna drive today? Are you gonna drive? Baby. Baby, are you gonna drive, baby? No, daddy's just fixing your car seat. I feel a little bit better now that I look not as rough, but still nauseous, so I'm gonna try to be as positive as I can for you guys and myself, because I need to stay positive. By the way, lashes are from Lavishly She Is. I just got a bunch in, so I'm gonna be doing a video soon on like a try-on lash haul. I will put the link in the description and of course a discount code. I think it's 5% off. The code is Amanda5. Okay guys, we are here at the ultrasound place. We're gonna try and see if we can film it. I'm pretty sure we can, so yeah. Let's go inside. I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. Let's just go. It's a little right there. See that oh, baby right there? yes. Look, look, look. <gasps> baby. Wow. Baby. There's one right. Because everybody's tripping me out. Baby. Baby. You can see it. Yeah, I see the little peanut right there. Which one was it like there, there, there? Yeah, that's, that's the beat. I wonder. I'm gonna go with just one. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's more than one sock in there. Or okay. Yeah, you don't know how many Definitely people. Definitely see that little flicker. Yeah. So I'm at least six weeks, right? And then... Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So what I have here is the little 
Bean, oh my goodness. It's so crazy because I literally remember seeing Ava this small and now she's huge. So although this may not mean much to you guys because like he or she is basically a little tiny bean, it means the world to me and I think every mom will tell you when you see the flickering little heartbeat on the screen or you hear the heartbeat, it's just such like a relief and like it's just such a good feeling. So this little thing is what's making me not feel good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of the ultrasound. I know you probably couldn't see much, just a tiny little peanut in there, but I'll explain why. So a six week ultrasound versus a seven week ultrasound is really different, honestly, because the baby just like triples in size. Not even triples, I don't know the exact number, but from the time the baby is conceived, like each week the baby just grows so much more. So if I would have been seven weeks like my period told me I was, then you guys would have got to see a little more, but I'm basically six weeks and two days, I think, and I'll tell you why I think this. So according to my period, I'm seven weeks, but when I found out I was pregnant and I put in my last, or the first day of my last period and like calculated and everything, it said that I was further along than I thought because in my heart I thought I was a week behind whatever it was saying and now this confirms that I was right. So basically when I got pregnant with Ava, I took a test and it was negative and then the next day I took a test and it was positive. So basically I found out the earliest you can possibly find out and usually when you take a test, a pregnancy test and it shows up positive, if that's like the earliest that you ever, ever, ever could find out, that means you're two weeks pregnant. Well, you're actually zero weeks, but the doctors consider it two weeks. It's kind of confusing. So with Ava, the day I found out, I knew I was two weeks pregnant. And every ultrasound after that, I was exactly the amount of weeks that they were measuring the actual baby to. So I knew what I thought was correct and every ultrasound it added up and everything was all good. So with this pregnancy, I took a test and it was negative and the next day I took a test and it was positive. So same thing, same thing with Ava. I calculated it and it told me that I was a week ahead from what I thought it was. When I calculated my last period, it said that I was three weeks and I was like, no, I just found out I'm pregnant. I'm only two weeks pregnant. But the doctor goes by your last period until you get your first ultrasound. So I'm not gonna go by what my last period says because honestly, unless you have a 28 day cycle exactly, that is just, it's just not accurate. So I'm gonna go by what I thought originally and what this first ultrasound is saying, that I'm six weeks and two days. So yeah, a little confusing, but I just had to clear that up because I know a lot of you were asking how far I am and I told you seven weeks because I thought I was seven weeks according to my last period. But I kind of knew I wasn't seven weeks. I just had to say that because that's what everyone was telling me I was. So that's just reassurance that I was correct and that's why I didn't get all these like pregnancy symptoms until just now because this is exactly when I started getting all the symptoms with Ava. I started getting them at six weeks and I just started getting all of these symptoms. But at least with this one, it's not that bad. Knock on wood, I'm not throwing up yet. I thought I was gonna throw up today, but with Ava, I was throwing up every single day, like multiple times a day, and it was really bad. So hopefully this pregnancy is different. Hopefully you, obviously you're seeing me talk now, so I'm obviously okay as of right now. It's just kind of like a roller coaster. It goes up and down. The nausea comes and hits me really hard, or the fatigue will hit me really hard, and then I just like have to like lay down. But for now, I can deal with this. I can deal with the nausea. It's it's annoying, but it's fine. I'm alive. And I'm so glad that we got this ultrasound because now I know that I am six weeks and we got to hear the heartbeat and see the little flickering on the screen and it was just so amazing. You guys don't even understand how happy I am right now. I was kind of nervous because everybody and their mama was telling me that I am having twins and I am not, okay? I'm not, I don't think I am at least. I don't know, she checked pretty well and she didn't see that there was two sacks or two babies or anything. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that there's one baby in there. But yeah, I just had to give that little update because a lot of you were asking and you were worried about me and I just wanna say that I'm good. I am gonna try to stay consistent. I am gonna try to post daily like I have been besides the past two days. I know my health comes first, but honestly, as long as I'm feeling somewhat up to it, I am gonna vlog and put these up there and try my best to get them out there as consistent as possible. And a lot of you wanted to see a belly update, so I'm gonna show you. My belly pretty much looks the same, but I'm still gonna show you guys because you were asking. So this is how I look from the front. I just look like I ate some food, honestly. And then from the side, can't really tell. I just look a little bloated. But when I put my shirt up, then you can kind of really see that it's like a little belly. There's a little baby in there. This is how it looks when I flex. <laughs> You can see my abs, but then you can see like a little lump still, and then just normal. 
crazy. So yeah, six week bump. And I just ate too, so that's probably why it's sticking out a little bit more. What are you doing? <laughs> you little chunker. And look at this chunker right here. Look at those thighs. We are gonna talk a little quiet because as you guys see, Ava's sleeping. But we are gonna close out the vlog right here. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You're disgusting. <laughs> but you know we can't end the vlog without giving the shout out for today. Today's shout out goes to Raekwon Savage. A Shout out to you, Raekwon. We love you so much. And if you're new to our channel and haven't subscribed already, <laughs> make sure you click that subscribe button so you never miss a vlog. We do vlog daily. But we love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Besito. Mm.